Hey folks, welcome back to the amazing education station. There are moon jellyfish in the ocean. They're translucent, almost transparent. Can you see any? Well, they're right there. It's right in the middle. It's a little bit hard to see. And strange thing is, sometimes they move together in groups, yet they don't have a brain. And uh, it's very mysterious, the mechanism. But, um, you know, the number of cells in any living animal is probably in the billions. So, uh, you know, maybe the cells in the human body could be in the trillions. It's, cells are very small. Just in our brain, we probably have many billions of nerve cells. So even though uh, a jellyfish doesn't have a brain, as we think of it, it might have some kind of translucent nerve cells that somehow do sensing and can keep the jellyfish together as a group and uh, who knows conscious <laughs> consciousness who knows about that consciousness is very mysterious very mysterious it's called sometimes an emergent property you know you have some eyes then you're conscious of visual things conscious of color unless you're sometimes colorblind and certain colors you can't be conscious of if you can hear then you're conscious of sounds but a jellyfish without eyes ears all that can't be very conscious but um, as far as understanding all of this look into evolution and study modern uh, science and especially evolutionary biology Darwin and so on and you can learn a lot and uh, brains also you know they could be so small think of an ant they move around and somehow make decisions of where to go and uh, their heads are very small obviously brains don't have to be very large and animals can still make decisions so people say oh you know human beings humans are the only intelligent life on the planet and uh, of course they might say well Dogs are a little bit intelligent, cats not so much, but there are many different types of intelligence and, well, think of dolphins, think of this fish. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't say that humans are the only intelligent creatures. We certainly have maximized our creativity and intelligence compared to other creatures or animals on the planet and uh, so there's that but no we're not the only intelligence on the planet so the, you know if you think well what about other planets is there intelligent life on other planets if there is life whatsoever which is certainly a mystery until we find it um, if it can move, uh, it would tend to probably evolve just like Earth life did over billions of years. Now, as I said, we, we don't really know if there's life on other planets, but just the fact of limited resources, no matter where life might be, 
limited resources, limited space, is going to cause competition no matter where in the universe it is. And due to limited resources and space and competition, therefore you would have uh, different abilities to reproduce and survive. And so evolution would just absolutely be almost a law of nature as long you know as long as the conditions are right and there's a very realistic chance that even life itself didn't evolve on the earth and um, you can look up the theory about that called panspermia which means like the seeds of life are everywhere and certainly all the materials this concrete, the rocks, the metal, everything, all of the heavier elements outside of the water, hydrogen, oxygen, um, had to form in an exploding star. And so there was another solar system and more likely several other solar systems that uh, came before the sun and the earth and all the planets and that created our solar system that we have right now and it, it was an exploding star that created the heavy elements and the living if there were living creatures on planets around that star it's possible that some kind of uh, microbes or bacteria or viruses or some part of the DNA and all the RNA all the mechanisms needed for life survived an explosion and traveled through space and then was just part of what formed our planet so so that's a possibility of course we don't know it, it may have all started on planet earth and uh, so we might be the only planet out of all the billions or trillions of planets in the universe to have intelligence and boats and life so far we have to keep exploring to find out so stay tuned. Thank you very much. And uh, please like, thumbs up, and subscribe.